What's up, everybody? First and foremost, Happy New Year's to all of you. I appreciate all of you for clicking on this video. All right, so I wanted to jump in here and give you guys your first video of 2021. These videos that I'm gonna be dropping are gonna be very instructional. Now I know it's gonna be a lot of you clicking off of these videos after two minutes of watching it and missing all of the content, missing all of the tips, the knowledge, the recommendations, just missing everything. And I don't want that to happen. So hopefully you guys will stick around to the end of the video, but if you don't, I'm gonna go ahead and run down super fast on what's gonna be covered and maybe you can just grab something within this 60 seconds to 90 seconds of some knowledge. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to run down my morning routine. Things that I'm going to be doing every single morning to feel better and to look better. You can incorporate this into your daily routine. I encourage you to simply because the way you start your morning is going to be life changing. First thing in the morning after all my hygiene is out the way, after I step on the scale, I'm not going to show you too much of me stepping on the scale because my toes are black. I don't want you guys to see all of that. But after all of that, I come downstairs, I mix up some BCAAs inside of my uh, two liter container or gallon, whatever I'm drinking on, because my goal is gonna be one gallon a day. I'll talk about that later. But while in the garage, I'm hitting 20 minutes of cardio on my bike. 20 minutes of cardio to get my heart rate up, to get my body primed and ready for the day. After that, I'm gonna be doing some body weight exercises. A few body weight exercises simply to wake the body up, get the body primed, get the body ready for the entire day. I'm gonna also be incorporating some yoga. Yoga is gonna be very important when it comes to flexibility, mobility, and everything like that. You're gonna need some type of stretching in the morning in order to be your best. I'm also gonna be using my massage gun to continue to loosen up and just keep my body nice, loose, ready. The day is gonna be conquered. And by doing these simple things in the morning, I'm gonna be taking everything to the next level. Now I'm gonna be explaining just a little bit on what exercise I'm actually gonna be doing, the purpose of the cardio, the purpose of the yoga, the purpose of the massage gun but you don't have to stick around go ahead and subscribe right now guys hit the like button and if you want to stick around then let's get to it but if not i'm gonna catch you in the next video If you haven't seen my video already on me doing 100 push-ups a day for 30 days, you need to go check that out. It's gonna be at one of the top corners of the screen. Go ahead and pause the video, go check it out. But push-ups are great. Push-ups to me are one of the mandatory basic bodyweight exercises that you should be doing at home. You don't need any equipment. You don't have to be the strongest person in the world. All you need is enough strength to bust out about 10 push-ups. And then the next week, try 15 and then 20. And then eventually you work your way up to doing maybe 100 push-ups. But here you're gonna see me do 50 push-ups. I'm starting out the routine of doing 50 push-ups in the morning. First thing in the morning, empty stomach. I'm working the pectorials, I'm working my deltoids, I'm working my triceps, and on top of it all, I'm working my core. And as you know, core and abdominals are the key body parts that are needed in order to perform any movements that you decide to do, whether it's calisthenics, whether it's weightlifting, you need a strong core. So push-ups is go-to. I'm knocking out 50 first thing in the morning. So to follow along with the 50 push-ups, I'm also knocking out 50 repetitions of any abdominal exercises. So here I'm knocking out some reverse crunches and I'm gonna do 25 repetitions of those. And then I'm gonna follow up with 25 repetitions of crunches. If you have lower back pain, you will struggle with doing sit-ups, crunches, any abdominal exercises. But the key here is just to make sure you don't overdo it. You're knocking it out in the morning so your energy isn't the best, but at the same time, you still wanna wake your body up and be active. These core exercises are gonna help us with our overall strength. It's gonna help us with our posture. And I hate to use the word metabolism, but yes, these push-ups and these sit-ups will help improve our metabolism. We're gonna be eating calories, but we're also gonna be burning calories. So all those calories that you consumed last night, you can burn a little bit of those off by performing these two exercises first thing in the morning. 50 on the push-ups, 50 on the sit-ups. Now it's time to talk about the yoga. So yoga is something that I have not always incorporated into my routine. Stretching I have, but just have not been 100% dedicated to it. But it's gonna be ideal. And so first thing in the morning, you cranking out some stretches and some yoga is really gonna help with your overall improvement. Your flexibility will be increased. Your mobility will be increased. You will in turn get stronger. The yoga is gonna teach us how to breathe better, how to breathe in these movements to hold these movements. Here I'm doing your normal basic dog pose. I'm doing some groin stretching. I'm doing some 
lower back stretching as well as the upper back stretching. And I'm just being mobile. I'm just loosening up my body to get ready for the whole entire day. Yoga is a stress reliever, a super calm type of exercising that I do recommend that you all try to incorporate at least three to four times a week. I'm not sure if I told y'all, but it is 35 degrees right now. It is super cold out here. I'm in the garage. I have this heater right here and it's okay. It's pushing out some good heat, but man, it is freezing. Toes are iced right now. I have a video on this on my YouTube channel, a product review. So I'm gonna go ahead and link that up here or on that corner, whatever corner it is. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it in this video because I've already talked about it, all right? So y'all go check out this massage gun therapy. Real good for you know loosening up joints and everything like that. But again, just go check out that video and you'll get all the info you need. All right, everybody, that is all I have for you in today's video. I appreciate you all for still sticking around and listening to me jabber about my push-ups, my sit-ups, my yoga. So with that being said, don't forget to like this video. I want you all to subscribe to the channel and I also want you guys to hit the bell so you will not miss any of the videos. That bell is gonna help you be notified as soon as I upload a video. The following videos that I have after this one are gonna all be beneficial. It's gonna help you reach your ultimate goal. A lot of us have a goal of losing weight, getting shredded, getting lean. That's what the New Year's resolution is all about. So I want you guys to come over to this channel and let's learn. Let's learn a little bit more of how to exercise for fat loss, for weight loss, and let's also learn how to eat because nutrition is 70% of the battle. So check out some of the old videos that I have from 2020. I still have some instructional videos from last year and the year before that. So feel free to scroll around the channel and see what fits your need. But with that being said, I'm gonna close out this video and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.